stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Vice President. Good evening, Dr. Brochel, Mr. Kitley, members of the Board of Education, Mr. McHale, parents, family, friends, faculty, and fellow classmates. On behalf of the 8th grade class of 2021, I would like to welcome you to our promotion ceremony and thank you for sharing this day with us. We have worked very hard to get to today and we thank you for helping to make tonight very special for us. It is my pleasure to now introduce our student council president, Olivia Messina. Hello everyone, I'm Olivia Messina. I'm the eighth grade class president. The last three years has proven that as a group, we have the ability to overcome true obstacles. We have learned to cope with masks, distancing, multiple modes of learning, schedules that change quickly, loss of contact with friends, and isolation. Despite the six feet distance held between one another, our class felt closer than ever. As weeks merged into months, normalcy came and went, and what felt like a crazy school year only feels like a twisted dream now. I can't help but to ask myself, where did all the time go? It feels like just yesterday we were playing heads up, seven up, and four corners in elementary school, but in a few months we will be entering high school. Although the days spent at Delray Middle School have flown by, the amazing memories made with friends and classmates will stay with us forever. The simple laughs and the funny moments really made me realize how much I miss school in person. School through a computer screen was simply not the same, and being on mute with your camera off was extremely disengaging. And despite the challenges that online class held, our class got through together, and no one was alone. When we were finally able to go back to school fully, I couldn't help but to think about how much this place has changed. The hallway handshakes and the close conversations shared with friends were no longer acceptable. Like many things, time has passed and life has changed drastically. As the COVID restrictions lifted, so did our spirits. This year wouldn't have been the same without the many motivational figures in my life. I'd like to start by thanking all the teachers and staff who went out of their way to return normalcy to our school year. I'd also like to thank my friends and family for creating memories through middle school that I always remember. This year made me realize that I have lots to give thanks to. The furry friends who acted as great companions through online school classes, the Google meetings that allowed us to virtually visit friends and family, and the DoorDash services who are always there for you when you are hungry. Most importantly, I'd like to thank our class for our flexibility this year and the way we were able to roll with the punches. I hope everyone has an amazing summer and I'm eager to see you all in September. Go Bears! Thank you, Olivia. Good evening and welcome to our 2021 promotion ceremony. I am Mike McHale, the principal of Delray Middle School, and it is my pleasure to welcome you here with us this evening. 
On behalf of the Delray Middle School faculty, I'd like to congratulate the students who are about to receive awards for accomplishments in academics, athletics, the arts, character, and citizenship. Although only a small percentage of students' names will be called, you all stand out as individuals and all have made contributions to our school. We are proud of each and every one of you. We will begin tonight with the Gold and Silver Presidential Academic Achievement and Excellence Awards. Award recipients should please stand at your seats and face the stands when I call your name. Parents and guests, please hold your applause until the end of each category so we can clap for everyone in the end. The Presidential Gold Awards for 2021. These recognize academic success by having a cumulative average GPA of 95 and above for grades 6, 7, and 8. Our recipients are Isaac Herrera Cota, Molly Frith, Ireland Reynolds, Ishak Ali Saeed, Jonathan Garces, Sharab Gupta, Mina Khan, Iris Lee, Vivian Sewell, Samantha Churm, Gabriella Bolton, Anna Fonseca, Olivia Musina, Nevaeh Riggs, Olivia Schaefer, Daniel Kasperzak, Rebecca Avalon, Nicholas Pafani, Alexander Ramsdell, Emma Levan, Emma Levan. Congratulations. Uh, you may be seated. Next up, we have the Presidential Silver Awards for 2021. These recognize academic success by having a cumulative average GPA of 90 to 94 for grades 6, 7, and 8. Suhani Patel, Sophie Weber, Jaslyn Benjamin Urena, Jeffrey Connard, Daniel Malgiri, Adelina Fretentura, Alexis Raxis, Emmanuel Paiva, Asa King, Victor Rizzo, Andrew Simeon, Aiden Stahl, Kane Hamelin, Linda Liu, Brenda Noyes, and Olivia Stromel. Congratulations. You may be seated. At this time, I call our teachers to the podium who will present specific awards to our students. Students, as your names are called, please stand and face the stands. When the next teacher presents, you may be seated. The Delran Middle and High School PTA Great Strides Award for Academics is awarded to two students. This year's winners are Shane Conroy and Damian Dixon. The Delran Middle and High School PTA Behind the Scenes Award. The awards go to Allison Stewart and Declan Williams. The Delran Middle and High School PTA Excellence and Attitude Award goes to Isabel Singleton and Asa King. Good evening. The Delran Middle and High School PTA Art Award goes to two students. They are Aaron Smith and Alexis Roxas. Delran Middle and High School PTA Industrial Arts Award go to Sukman Duali and Austin Lee Lacey Bullock. Good evening. The Outstanding Overall Male and Female Athletic Award is sponsored by the Delran Athletic Association. These two students must possess the following criteria and qualities. Participate in at least one DMS interscholastic or normal sport, has an A in physical education class, shows good sportsmanship, is a team player, shows leadership skills, has a positive attitude, and is coachable. The award goes to Molly Frith and Anthony Saka. <laughs> uh, 
I am honored tonight to present the Barlow Chevrolet Award to one male and female student who are the highest achievers in creativity, critical thinking skills, and overall excellence in academics. The award this year goes to two outstanding students who possess these qualities, Ishikali Syed and Sohani Patel. Congratulations. The American Legion Post 146 School Medal Award is awarded to the students who exhibit the qualities of courage, honor, leadership, patriotism, scholarship, and service. This award is presented to Molly Fritt and Matthew Virick. The St. John Newman Council 1436 and Knights of Columbus Award is given to a student for service to school and community. The recipients are Ashley Davenport and Daniel Cart Kasparzak. Good evening. I will be giving three awards from the Delrain Education Association. The first award is for leadership. This is awarded to a student who leads by quiet example, a regular participant in school programs and events of the school. And the award goes to Vittoria Rabuco. Congratulations. The second award is for service. This is awarded to a student who has a willingness to help a sense of fairness, a spirit of unselfishness, and a genuine concern for others. And this is awarded to Gladys Ruby Vasquez. Congratulations. And the last award is for academic achievement. This is awarded to a student who will continue their education at Delran High School, has a composite standardized test score of at least 85%, for grades six, seven, and eight, and must have exemplary character traits. And this is awarded to Iris Lee. Congratulations. It is our pleasure tonight to recognize our four wonderful, dedicated student council officers. President Olivia Messina, Vice President Anna Fonseca, Secretary Lindsay Rooney, and Treasurer Molly Frith. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, it is my pleasure to recognize two students who have dedicated their time to our school newspaper. The Grizzly Gazette Award goes to our eighth grade editors, Vittorio Rabuco and Addy Frattentoro. Hello. The Outstanding Achievement in Marketing Award goes to Ava Obachowski and Emmanuel Paiva. And the Delran Middle School Computer Award for Outstanding Achievement in Computers goes to Amelia Sadowski and Chase Aldrezic. It is my privilege and honor to award the Outstanding Achievement in Language Arts to Seth Wimmer and Emma LeVan. Congratulations. The Delran Middle School Math Award goes to Molly Frith and Amer Conley. It is my pleasure to announce the DMS Science Award. This year's two recipients are Ishak Saeed and Suhani Patel. The Delran Middle School Social Studies Award is given to the students who demonstrate an outstanding achievement in their social studies class. This award is presented to Kylie Arizio Fasten and David Waters.
The first award I am uh, announcing tonight is actually on behalf of the middle school band and Mr. Rafter. These two awards go for outstanding musicians in band, and the two winners are Gina Rufo and Seth Wimmer. The second award is for Outstanding Achievement in Vocal Music, and this goes to Ashley Davenport and Allison Stewart. The award for Outstanding Achievement in French goes to Gladys Ruby Vasquez. The Outstanding Achievement Award in German goes to Allison Stewart, and the Outstanding Achievement Award in Spanish goes to Kylie Arosio Platson. The Excellent in Language Award goes to Brianna Rocha Liberato. Burlington County School Council Association Caring Award goes to a student who shows unusual caring and in a humanitarian concern in an unselfish manner. The award goes to Dylan Husband. Congratulations. It's my privilege to give the Burlington County Secondary Principals and Supervisors Association Honorary Award. This goes to a student with high academic standards, leadership qualities, and service to school and community. This year's winner, Anna Fonseca. I have a tiptoe to reach this. <laughs> uh, the Janice M. Penty Memorial Award is presented uh, for creativity in writing and language arts. The Janice M. Penty Award has been developed to honor a very special person who served with distinction as secretary for 12 years to the principal and assistant principal of the Dalran Middle School. In 2003, Janice lost her long struggle with cancer, and this award has been given at each promotion since, in memory of her creative skills in writing. This award is presented to a student who displays those outstanding creative skills in writing and excels in language arts. This year's Janice M. Penty Memorial Award winner is Brianna Perkins. Good evening. My name is Dan Cugini, I'm the assistant principal at the middle school. I'm honored to be here in front of all of you tonight. The first award I'm presenting is the John E. Costick Memorial Award. At this time, I would like to present the John E. Costick Memorial Award for excellence in math and science and demonstrating student leadership to a male and female student. John Costick was a 2003 graduate of Delran High School. John loved Delran, the people he met here, the education he received, and the opportunity he left gave him hope for the future. Sadly, in November 2004, while majoring in finance at Ryder University, John lost his life in a tragic car accident. To continue his thirst for knowledge, this annual award has been created in his memory and sponsored by his parents. This year's John E. Costick Memorial Award winners are Aaron Smith and Minna Khan. Congratulations. It is my pleasure to present two sets of faculty awards. The first set of students are conscientious, courteous, and caring. The winners are Vivian Sewell, Faith, Faith Williams, Chase Elisiak, Samantha Chom, and Alexis Roxas. Congratulations. The next set of students have shown to be positive role models, well-rounded academically and community-minded. The winners are Denez Canley, Madison Lynch, Keen McLaughlin, Adelina Fratentero, and Aiden Stahl. Congratulations. I would now like to introduce Mr. Scribier in presenting the Mary B. Chassio Science Award.
Mrs. Chassio was one of our dedicated middle school science teachers. She was, she was a teacher for 42 years, teaching careers and educating students in life sciences. In 26 of those years, she spent teaching within the Dalrian Township. She retired in 2013 to return to help participate as a judge for our science fairs for multiple years. Sadly, in September 2016, Mrs. Chassio passed away after a battle with cancer. She had a passion for academic excellence in science. The Mary B. Chassio Award was created and sponsored by her family. This award is given in her memory to honor her love of science, her passion for teaching, and her selfless service to her students and her DMS family. It is my pleasure to announce this year's award, a student who excels in applying critical thinking skills to their scientific practices and for displaying service above their self. The award goes to Iris Lee. Next up is the James A. Duda Memorial Award. Delray Middle School graduates of 2021, I want to tell you about a special person, our former middle school principal. Mr. Duda has left an indelible impact on the community of Delray. Mr. Duda presented a gruff exterior, but with a kind heart that continually revealed itself. He appeared stern, but that image fell apart when he charged up and down the court during the student faculty basketball games. Or we heard him cheering for the students or jeering at the refs on the sideline at most home games. He had a hand in, our, in your education because we, the staff of Delray Middle School, continue to meet the example he set, constantly working towards excellence in education and are passionate about treating others with compassion and kindness. And so the James A. Duda Memorial Award is sponsored by the middle school staff and given in his memory to honor his values. The criterion for this prestigious award is to treat everyone with respect and dignity, maintain the desire to learn from all of life's experiences, take responsibility for one's own actions, be quietly selfless and compassionate, use good judgment, and be gentle to oneself. And this year, the award goes to Daniel Santos. Our final award is the Dr. Melanie Goodwin Ogonzalez Award. It exhibits courage and humor with life's challenges. The Dr. Melanie Goodwin Ogonzalez Award was created by the middle school staff to honor our formal principal, formal, former principal, who suffered a stroke in 2014. Dr. Goodwin Ogonzalez's strength, courage, and humor in the face of adversity have stood out as traits we wish to hold in high esteem with this award. So tonight, I am proud and honored as your principal to present the fourth annual Dr. Melanie Goodwin Ogonzalez Award to Mackenzie English. Congratulations to all our recipients. This concludes the award section of our program. Good evening, members of the Board of Education, parents, grandparents, relatives, teachers, and guests. Thank you for joining us this evening as we celebrate our Delran Middle School eighth grade promotion to high school. What a whirlwind year and a half you have all gone through. Almost half of your middle school experience was defined by the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm sure that you, like me, cannot wait to forget words like remote instruction, in-person, hybrid, synchronous, asynchronous, contact tracing, and social distancing. Prior to your seventh grade school year, none of us used those terms and now they've become common in almost every conversation. I must say that I am proud of those of you sitting here during this promotion ceremony. You have dug deep and persevered through many changes over the last year and a half. As parents, guardians, teachers, and administrators, we strive to create consistency in your lives, both at home and at school. This year, that was not the case. Schedules were changed month to month, week to week, and even day to day. Sched um, whether behind a computer screen or live in class, you continue to do your part to be successful throughout the school year. Unfortunately, there are many activities, clubs, and sports that you were unable to take part in over the last year and a half. If COVID taught us anything, is that we should not take for granted the day-to-day -day activities and relationships that we enjoy. I hope that as you enter Delray High School, you each choose to make the most of these opportunities. Join a new club, try out for a sport, Take a class that will challenge and inspire you. Make some new friends. 
Make the most of all the opportunities that Delray High School has to offer. You'll never look back and regret the things that you tried, but you may regret the opportunities you did not take advantage of. Your teachers and I are proud of the hard work and effort you put in in preparation for high school. We cannot wait to see where your talents take you. It has been a pleasure being both your assistant principal and principal as you've all grown from nervous sixth graders to the confident young men and women you are here today. I have no doubt that you will be successful in all of your endeavors, and I look forward to seeing the wonderful things that you will accomplish. Dr. Broschel, our eighth grade students are ready to be promoted to high school. Please join me at the podium. Thank you, Mr. McHale, and good evening uh, to everyone that is here in attendance tonight. Uh, certainly, let's start off with parents and grandparents, aunts, uncles, uh, cousins, caretakers, uh, anybody that had uh, a direct and, and an immediate role at supporting uh, the children that are out here on the field tonight on behalf of the Delran Township Board of Education and entire school district and staff and administration and maintenance team, uh, we thank you. Certainly a challenging year, uh, and certainly we made it, uh, but it was not without its challenges and it did not go unnoticed. Uh, the level of partnership that took place between your homes uh, and our schoolhouses, uh, particularly uh, that at the middle school. So honestly, uh, thank you. I'd like to welcome uh, all of those in attendance tonight, certainly there's much to celebrate uh, in front of us here. Uh, certainly the students at the middle school have been cited uh, for excellence in the classroom, excellence on our stages, on our athletic fields over time. You've demonstrated that you're eager to contribute through a variety of community service projects and such. This ceremony tonight uh, is a formality to begin. You're beginning your journey now at the high school. You're now members of the class of 2025. As you move forward at the high school, it's important to underscore the concept of change. It's a fact of life that's something, and it's something that you certainly need to embrace. You need to absorb that concept of change and you need to capitalize on it. If the pandemic has taught us nothing else, it has taught us that our lives can move pretty quickly uh, when you least expect it. Whether that movement has a positive outcome or a negative outcome uh, is up to you and it's up to me. As students at the high school, you'll no longer be the oldest in the group. You'll be the new class at the high school. You'll be challenged with finding new classes in new rooms taught by new teachers, led by a new administration. With your new school, you will be given more responsibility. And with that responsibility, much is expected. You see, to he and she, much is given, much is expected. We seek to give you a lot of responsibility, and we look for a great deal in return here. So as the new group at the high school, you can take solace in the fact that every group that has graduated was the new group at some point. In fact, regardless of your role in the world, once you leave Delran High School in 2025, you will have to craft your own story. You will have to drive your own future and establish excellence in many different unique ways, oftentimes without guidance. As students, you've accomplished a great deal. You've grown, you've developed as students here in our schools with the intent that you've prepared yourself to contribute to the high school. That's the goal. We want you to come here in September and contribute. There's one daunting reality that you will soon be confronted with, and that's the reality of the unknown. If there's one important fact to respect when thinking about your, your experience at the middle school, at the intermediate school, and certainly at Millbridge before that, it's that you will have the ability to learn from others in great detail. You'll be able to learn from your classmates, from your teachers, across the board. You'll have access to more students and you will have more classmates than you were afforded at the middle school. You have access to a robust curriculum that will indeed prepare you 
to assume a college of your choice and a career of your choice. You'll also have the opportunity to earn membership into three academic honor societies, the National Honor Society, the International Thespian Society for the actors in our group here tonight, and the Quill and Scroll Society for the writers and literaries in our group. You'll have the opportunity to earn recognition on the principals list. You'll earn the principals award for service and even be on the number one club, which recognizes all positive contributions to Delrayne High School. You'll have the opportunity to take courses in our state-of-the-art fabrication laboratory and prepare for either college or career or both. For the athletes in the group, there are 23 interscholastic sports and we have teams on the varsity level. There are over 30 clubs. There's a robust and very effective student council. In addition, one of you will be given the opportunity to represent the entire student body on the Delran Township Board of Education. The intent for such a varied high school experience is to prepare you for when you travel outside of Delran. You will have the occasion to offer your experiences in vibrant, diverse locales. You will be forever changing. You will be forever growing while you experience the challenges that lay before you. It is our job as a school district and as a high school to place you in the position to be successful. However, it will now be your responsibility to take the opportunities that exist at the high school and make them yours, own them, use them to define you. As you pursue your studies at the high school, I suggest that you do the following in the third, first 30 days of the next school year. Number one, develop a plan for studying, develop a plan for preparing for your coursework. Start strong. Join a club, join a student activity, or contribute to the greater high school community. Meet and connect with somebody new that you don't know. It is certain that if you plan your studies, if you contribute to the school community, and if you meet and are influenced by somebody new, positive people that will allow you to grow, you will continue to change and you will continue to refine who you are and develop your ever-growing skill set. I wish you well in your journey here and I'll be alongside of you serving as your cheerleader, as your supporter, and I commit to developing programs to allow you as a high school graduate from Del Ran to grow while you are a student here. I look forward to addressing you in 2025, right here on this field and highlighting all of the accomplishments that you've earned in the next four years. I wish you the best of luck, class of 2025. Mr. Kitley and the entire Del Rand Township Board of Education, I can certify that the Del Rand High School class of 2025 is most prepared to assume that journey as high school students and certify that they've met the standards and requirements set forth by the New Jersey Department of Education. Thank you and best of luck. This time we're going to begin calling our students to the stage for the promotion certificates. Hi. Olivia Samel. Brooke Christopher. Kayla Terenti, Jaslyn Benjamin Urena, Shane Kingsmore, Jasir Garcia, Zina Rufo, Ingrid Peraz, Allison Stewart, Jaina Trouts, Dominic Gregorio. 
Tamaris Nariani Rebello Montero. Olivia Powell. Rebecca Avalon. Chevelle Wuchter. Justin Zimbicki. Andrew Simeon. Danielle Taylor. Gianna Rossi. Olivia Messina. Emily Reagan. Emma Levan. Trinity Betters. Jonathan Garces. Mia DeFranco. Olivia Sutton. Madison Lynch. Maya Pierce Rufus. Michaela Parker. Molly Frith. Amelia Sadowski. Matthew Roca. Abigail Lefferts. Shane Conroy. Shannon Waters. Oh. Aaron Newsom. Brianna Perkins. Sean Andrews. Demi Desher. Mackenzie English. Imani Jarabika. Liv Maffa. Ian Chavez. Alexander Ramsdell. Victoria Roboco. Gladys Ruby Vasquez. Ishak Ali Saeed. Olivia Potts. Victor Rizzo. Joa Arabal. Natalie Alves Nascimento. Caden Brown. Lily O'Connor. Eduardo de Oliveira Ambrosio. Lena Guzman. Nevea Riggs. Emil Schmidt. Reagan Cooper. Aiden Stahl. Matthew Virick. Madison Boyce. Nicholas Gowan. Pietro Milani. Luke Bauman. Manuel Paiva. Ethan Smith. Daniel Malgeri. Elena Fox. David Waters. Suhani Patel. Seth Wimmer. Micaiah Dunn. Kane Hamlin. William Boyce. Aiden Connor. Kylie Erosio Fasson. Shane Williams. Michael Virick. Daniel Kasterzak. Mateus Pinto. Dennis Batiste. Lucas Edwards. Azari Simmons. Kian McLaughlin. Asa King. Jacob Dunbar. Jeffrey Connor. Aiden Klein. Maxwell Roy. Anthony Saka.
Bellin Galindo. <laughs> William Kalinsky. <laughs> Thomas Vathis. <laughs> Samantha Chorn. <laughs> Alexandra Robinson. <laughs> Cameron Vance. Danielle Rufo. <laughs> Mina Khan. <coughs> Sophie Weber. <laughs> Quentin Oakes. <laughs> Kaylee Wasmith. <laughs> Alexis Roxas. <laughs> Sabrina Santos. <laughs> Anna Corsanico. Matthew Kukula. Austin Lacey Bullock. Craig Adams. Logan Tomei. Faith Williams. Lindsay Rooney. Vivian Sewell. Kiesia Scott. Hillary Raldalis. Jalen Mazzone. Gabriella Bolton. Adelina Fretentoro. Jessica Bowser. Fatma Kachmaz. Angela Izzo. Brianna Roca Liber. Liber Liberato. Ava Smith. Ireland Reynolds. Gabriella Zoll. Iris Lee. Anna Monteroso. Savannah Brooks. Addison Lavin. Chase Elysiac. Maximus Spinelli. Maya Jackson. Ava Obachowski. Sukman Daliwal. Jasmine Baylor. Aaron Hutchinson. Joseph Hill. Gianna Potts. Aaron Smith. Kylie Sloan. Anna Fonseca. Summer Van Zyl. Nicholas Pafani. Dylan Husband. <laughs> Ashley Davenport. <laughs> Gustavo Alves. <laughs> Elif Miller. <laughs> Kieran Cooney. <laughs> Robert Horton. <laughs> Vincent Gian Greco. Olivia Schaefer. Christian Lister. Raymond Ola. Isabel Singleton. Alexander Pedrogo. Matthew Avery. Sienna Weaver. Asha Gray. <laughs> Ottavio Rakoto. Pierce Milner. 
Nicholas Alves Nascimento. Sarah Alvin. Daniel Santos. Alejandro Mariano. Chloe Ray. Damian Dixon. Brady Bowman. Gavin Kumar. Brian Craig. Denez Hanley. Ezra Williams Thomas. Edgar Gnainden. Declan Williams. Pedro Sosa Celez Arojo. Amir Canley. Everett Bernard. Vaughn Smedili. James Hatzel. Lucas Mormondo. Jasir Thompson. Rashawn Johnson. Patrick Will. We've reached the end of our ceremony this evening. Parents and guardians, it has been my honor to spend each day, whether remote or in person, with your children this year. Thank you for being our partner in their education. I'd like to thank the Board of Education, Dr. Brochel, Mrs. De Simone, Dr. Delavecchia, the faculty and support staff of DMS for everything they've done to make this year successful for the students of Delray Middle School. I'd like to thank our teacher presenters and our faculty for coming out tonight to celebrate with our students. I thank the secretary to the principal, Barb Edwards, for creating our program, organizing our podium book, and for handling every organizational detail, including our certificates, plaques, and awards into a promotion envelope for each student which they will receive tomorrow at school. And yes, we do have school tomorrow. <laughs> I thank Mr. Mike DiGiovanni and all the building and ground staff for preparing our fields and making this space look beautiful for our ceremony. And finally, I'd like to thank Mr. Jack O'Leary, our eighth grade advisor, for magically hurting this class of 200 eighth graders and the smoothly flowing welcome of our group of graduates with only two practices. <laughs> Students, I will see you bright and early tomorrow at DMS for your last day of school. Even though you all may have different plans for high school next year, remember, you will always be the Delray Middle School class of 2021. At this time, I ask you to please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, moms and dads, please join me in congratulating the Delray Middle School class of 2021.